Hello everyone, my name is Melissa Ati. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about the Rubin Watson test for autocorrelation. First of all, what do you mean by autocorrelation? In a regression model, we assume error term of a period 1 is not related to error term of any another period. In regression model, we assume error term of period 1 is not related to error term of any another period. That means there is no relationship between error term of different period. But in case of autocorrelation, there is some relationship between error term of different period. That means according to autocorrelation, error term of period 1 is related to error term of any another period. But why autocorrelation is problem? Violation of independence assumption. We do so many tests by assuming error term of different period are independent from each other. But if there is some relationship between error term of different period, obviously there is a violation of independence assumption. Second thing, autocorrelation can lead to underestimation or overestimation of standard error. If autocorrelation is present, that means model is not able to fully capture relationship in data. That's why autocorrelation is a problem and we must detect this problem. Durbin Watson test we use to detect the presence of autocorrelation. And this is formula of Durbin Watson test. D equal to summation of whole square of ET minus ET minus 1 divided by summation ET square. Here D represent Durbin Watson statics. ET represent error term of T time period, or you can say that ET represent error term of current period. ET minus 1 represent error term of previous year. Suppose our current period is our T period is 2007 and error term of previous year will be called error term of 2006. If value of ET is not given then you can calculate value of ET by using OLS. As we know OLS can calculate value of Y hat and Y. Y is our dependent variable and formula of calculating ET or E is equal to Y minus Y hat. Y hat is estimate value of Y and Y is actual observed value of Y. So OLS can calculate value of Y hat and Y and by using OLS we can calculate value of ET or you can say that you can calculate value of E. Now we will see how to calculate D if ET is given in question. Mostly ET will given in question. Here we have a total 6 number of observation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Durbin Watson test is more relevant if we have a minimum 15 number of observation. But here for the sake of simplicity we are taking only 6 observation. First column we have value of ET which is a given. Now we will calculate ET square means we will do square of all these value. Now we will calculate ET minus 1. ET minus 1 is previous year of uh, error term. That's why 1 minus 3, 9, 3, 9 is a first value in value of uh, ET and this first value will become second uh, here. Similar 0 0.47 is second value but this second value will become third uh, here. Similar minus 0 0.32 is third value here but this value will become fourth here. Similar 2 minus 3 4 is fourth value here but here this will become fifth value because ET minus 1 is previous year of error term that's why we are doing like this. Now we will minus ET from ET minus 1 means we will calculate ET minus ET minus 1. We will minus ET minus 1 from ET. When we minus we will get all these value. Now we will do square of all these value in order to get whole square of ET minus ET minus 1. Now we add all this value it will become equal to summation of whole square of ET minus ET minus 1 and this is a value of a summation of whole square of ET, ET minus ET minus 1. So for and this is our formula and we have calculated uh, this value and uh, summation ET square is this. When we add uh, ET all value of ET square it will become equal to summation ET square. Now we put uh, these two value in formula and our answer will 1.76093 and this is value of uh, D. Now we test autocorrelation by using Durban Watson formula. 
as we know whenever we test any hypothesis first of all we make null and alternative hypothesis h not represent null hypothesis this sign represent a row if row is equal to 0 that means there is no autocorrelation please listen carefully if row is equal to 0 that means there is no autocorrelation h1 alternative hypothesis if row is not equal to 0 that means autocorrelation present then we will set a level of significance if level of significance is given then okay if not given we assume level of significance of 5 percent then we apply Durbin formula this formula we have already calculated value by applying uh, this formula and our value was uh, this now we will make a critical uh, reason number of observation was 6 k is the number of independent variable in case of simple linear regression model we have only one independent variable but in case of multiple linear regression model we have more than one independent variable and we assume we are uh, using a simple linear regression model that's why number of independent variable is one a alpha is a level of significance which is five percent based on value of n and k and alpha we will use uh, uh, Darbin Watson table and will find out value of DL and DU. That means value of DL and DU are based on value of N, K and alpha which you can see by using uh, Darbin Watson uh, table. So DL is uh, lower uh, bound and uh, DU is upper uh, bound. Now we will minus 4 from DL which is equal to 3.61 and we also minus 4 from DU which is equal to 2.85. But why we minus DL and DU from 4? Because Durbin Watson statics range from 0 to 4. That's why we minus DL from 4 and DU from 4. If DL is greater than D, if DL is greater than D, then we reject our null hypothesis and there is positive autocorrelation in data. If D is more than 4 minus DL, then we reject uh, null hypothesis and negative autocorrelation. If uh, for, uh, 4 minus DL is greater than D, then we accept our null hypothesis. But if D is uh, greater than DL but less than DU, then our uh, test is insignificant or we can say that our test is inclusive. Here you can see this is value of D and this is value of 4 minus DL. So here you can see 4 minus DL is greater than D means we lies in this category. That's why we accept our null hypothesis. This is all about Durbin Watson test to, to detect autocorrelation. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.